Today's guided draw will be a llama with a flower headband. I have my piece of paper and all of my writing utensils, a pencil for my name and the word, black for the outline, purple, orange, and yellow for the flowers, and pink's, pink will be for the llama's cheeks. My first step is to write my name in the top hand, top left hand corner. Just like that. Now, we're not going to write the word llama at the bottom of our page this time, because that's where our llama is going to come from. So we're gonna save a bit of room at the top toward the right llama. So I'm gonna start with the flower headband. And it kind of, this llama kind of has a lot of cloud shapes to it. So for the flowers, you're just gonna go in and out. And then putting a circle in the middle and then start again, in and out, around, circle in the middle. In and out. And I'm gonna do four flowers across. Circle in the middle. One, two, three, four flowers across. Next, from both ends of the flowers, I'm going to draw the ears. They're kind of like rounded triangles. So they go to both sides. And then the top of the llama's head, Looks like the flowers or a cloud. You're just drawing curved lines in and out, in and out from ear to ear. Now I'm going to draw the rest of the face and the neck. So kind of line up where your ear is. Again, in and out. And then draw a line part way across. Not very far though. Go to the other side, in and out. You're just copying what you did on the other side. Draw a line across like that. Now for the llama's neck, the same thing that you've been doing for the rest of the llama. In and out. Make sure you're not right at that line. A little bit of space there. In and out like that. I'm gonna draw my llama with his eye, his or her eye, or eyes are closed. So that's just like a half circle, just a curved line. And I can add a few eyelashes on each eye. Now for the mouth and nose, I'm going to draw a circle and then inside of it, a smaller dot circle and then a line comes out and goes one way and a line comes out and goes the other way and that makes the mouth and nose and I'll add some circles on the cheeks that I can color into both sides like that now it's time to stretch out our word llama so we know we hear the sound l and that's an l but there are two L's. So one will be an uppercase. The first one's an uppercase. And the second one's a lowercase like that. L -a -a -a. A. Lom. Lom. A. A. Now for my llama, I'm going to leave the wool white, but I'm going to color in the rest. So for the cheeks, I have a pink. I'm gonna do this space with the nose and the mouth with my pink. Nice and light, taking my time. There we go. And now for the middle of my flowers, I'm going to use my yellow. And then I'm gonna do a pattern with the rest of the flowers. My pattern's going to be purple, orange, purple, orange. Taking my time to stay in the lines. And 
Remember, it's not a race. So I said my pattern was going to be purple, orange, purple, orange. So that means I skip one for the orange. I do this one purple. And now I can complete my pattern using my orange. Can you make a pattern with the colors on your flower headband? I can't wait to see your work.